Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and yes, part six of our creating a tiered storage space with deduplication using uh, Microsoft Virtual Labs and using the menu for their first uh, exercise. Uh, the only reason that I'm doing this with you guys is because I'm learning myself, teaching myself something new, and also trying to explain what's going on with the menu because sometimes some of the man you know some of the information in the menu is not really detailed and a lot of people got to get confused you're just typing stuff in and don't really know what the heck you're, you're typing in right so let me give you guys a run through of one uh, part one through five of what we've done so far so part one we created a storage space go check that video out if you guys haven't checked it out yet part two uh, we modified the disk to implement tearing uh, part three, we created a tear volume with the deduplication. Uh, part four, we created a new uh, we created a new user file share or a new file share. Uh, part five, we tested and validated the deduplication, which everything worked well. And part six, we're doing a pin files and storage tear, which I don't really know what pin pin files is, so I'm going to read what the manual basically states. Uh, Storage tail optimization is a process of moving files between HDDD uh, storage and SSD fast tiers. Uh, this process is implemented as an extension to the system defragmentation progress and is scheduled by default to run daily at 1 a.m. You can edit this value in the task scheduler by navigating to the storage tier management. Uh, optimization moves blocks, not entire files. Uh, between storage tiers, you have the option to pin designated files to, to specific tiers and to run optimization at any time. Pretty cool. Uh, in this task, you will pin files to the SSD and optimize those files, moving them to SSD. This is uh, all done using the Windows PowerShell. Again, Windows PowerShell. So, uh, on the last video, guys, this is where I left you guys off. You know, this is where we initialize. Or started the dedupe on our files. I'm just gonna clear it out, and uh, we need to initialize a PowerShell session with our domain controller. So I have my trusty little notepad with all my command line, command lines, and that's what you do. Enter PowerShell session to domain controller, and there you go. Now it wants you to uh, create two variables, and within these two variables, you're assigning it to. Um, to uh, a parameter of get storage tier so we need to we're doing a dollar sign HDD tier and we're assigning it to get storage tier user file storage Microsoft HDD template okay so that's basically the name or, or the name that where this is actually like the the variable that we're assigning dollar sign HDD tier right and we're gonna hit enter and once we hit enter, we are going to do the SSD tear one, which is the same format as below, but the difference is the SSD is different. You know, we just changed the name. We're going to hit enter. And uh, now it wants you to enter this for loop. Now, uh, now the command returns some system files and folders which cannot be pinned to a specific tear. The error action parameter is used to suppress these errors. So I'm actually going to go over somewhat what I know about this for loop so it looks like you're looping through a dollar sign file which is a variable that you declare in get child item H which is the volume where all the dedupes is at and we're doing a recursive uh, you're also setting the file storage tier parameter and the param uh, actually command lit with the your yeah you're initializing the set file storage tear command line with the parameters of file path dollar sign file dot full name and the parameter actually this is a parameter gotta make sure that's right right yep parameter desired storage tear and again this task we're doing a dollar we're actually doing everything uh, within this task we're pinning files to the SSD and optim and we're optimizing those files moving them to the SSD that's why we're doing a dollar sign SSD tear okay if and the error action the error action parameter uh, which is also assigned to silent silently continue meaning if any errors happen 
don't worry about it skip it continue doing what you need to do and that's it so we are going to copy this paste it and hit enter and it worked I'm gonna do a uh, CLS to clear it out and now it wants me to do another command and this command is get file storage tear with the parameter of volume drive letter so let's see what that does whoa that's a lot so the tip right here of what this means all this nonsense is okay and pending stuff right what does this mean so for some files have a status of okay and others have a status of pending pending files will be moved to the desired storage tier on the next optimization cycle okay files are already full on the tear so that's pretty good uh, most we got a lot of okay so a lot of files already within the tear um, see completely on the tear completely on the tear some of them are not but the ones impending it looks like from the note that they place here on the menu on the next optimization cycle it's gonna go completely full to the tear so that's pretty cool uh, then it wants me to do another command now this command will optimize the tear volume and then use the previous view to verify that all the files are on the desired storage tear okay so I am going to run this command so I, I'm assuming that this command will kickstart the pending ones and put them all into overdrive and say hey get started and you know do your thing so this is the command optimize dash volume with the parameter of dash drive letter you gotta give it the drive letter again if you guys have been checking out the other videos I think in part three we assign it as H and the parameter of dash tear optimize and we're gonna hit enter <clears throat> and it's, as you can see is doing its thing it's kinda strange because when I did it last time when I initially started let me do it one more time uh, it didn't give me the progress bar and it didn't give me like the little stars like it was doing anything so that was pretty strange uh, it's completed and uh, we are going to run this command again this is the same command that we did earlier to get uh, the information so it's a uh, git dash file storage tear uh, commandlet with a parameter of volume drive letter and H so we're gonna try to get the information we still have a couple of them still pending which is still strange but it's okay it's okay and the last command that we need to do is defrag with the parameters of GCH and let it defrag itself so that's pretty cool and that's about it guys um, I'm pretty ha I'm pretty satisfied with this uh, playlist uh, the playlist is going to continue because there's another exercise with this Microsoft Virtual Lab uh, but again six parts of so much stuff that I learned a lot of PowerShell commands that I have under my belt that I learned with the deduplication um, creating storage pool which is awesome to learn uh, yeah, I don't even know what to say. If you guys have any questions, leave them right below at the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Again, at the description part for every video, I will have the PDF of the information that I had, as well as the link to go to the virtual lab and go check it out. And uh, if you have any problems or any getting into the virtual lab, I, I had a couple of problems. If you guys have the same problems that I have, like logging in and uh, configuring and all that stuff let me know at the comment section I'm gonna help you out so you guys can start testing this stuff out as well again it's free why not use it hopefully you guys enjoy and I catch you guys on the next one peace out